My brother, Seth, is here. I'm proud of you, man. It's not easy having an older brother that's playing in the NBA and obviously a dad that's done it before both of us. And the way that you're handling it is, is impressive. And you know, the sky's the limit for you. Keep doing what you're doing and um, you keep making the family proud. It's kind of crazy to think we're on this stage and get to play in front of our family and just the amount of just happiness and joy that comes with that is crazy. It'll be a lot of fun. Obviously, like I was saying, it's good for our family to see us both on the court at the same time, uh, competing against each other. It's going to be a fun to go against one of the best players in the league, one of the best teams in the league. So, I mean, it's, it's a dream come true for us too, obviously, but our families are going to have a lot of fun with it as well. It's, it's family and parents that support us all the way through the ranks. Now, to be in a situation like this where I guess technically it's a win-win for them, they're going to the finals regardless. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about it and we're like, this is getting a little stressful <laughs> as far as what to wear. So Warriors in the front, I got Portland in the back and vice versa. I think I caught myself a couple times looking up the stands and my parents, they can't help themselves. So anytime either one of us did something good, they both were clapping. So they got to they gotta fix themselves. Cause I told my mom like, who you, who you with? When I made a shot, I saw her stand up and cheer, but I saw all Portland. This is the first time we've, we've not been able to completely be all in with both kids. We're gonna have to be very careful because a win for one of our boys is a loss for the other. So I guess what you guys are hoping for is like a seven game series that ends in a tie. Uh, yeah. yeah, and they both go to the <laughs> NBA championship and they both get rings. How about that? <laughs> they always win. Regardless of, of where they played, who they played, they, they wanted to win, do their best, and it was very disciplined to work on, work on their craft. So I always told them, you know, as long as you play and you play well um, and you're good enough, you'll get to the next level. I mean, he's just had a, he's had a, a very interesting journey to get to where he's at and dealing with some significant injuries. Going through the G League and seeing his brother reach the heights, but Seth still had his, his mind and focus on his career. It's For him to just grind and Understand that he belonged on this level. It's just it's been fun to watch him just be, you know, who he is. Growing up, I mean, we had a lot of a lot of competition, no matter what it was. But uh, especially on the basketball court, uh, playing one on one, it got real heated at times, and uh, I think it helped us get to where we are today. Just the competitive spirit. You know, it was some some hard fought out battles in the backyard and even in the high school gym. And so, you know, there'd be times when the sibling rivalry and Seth would say he's Stefan's cheating or, you know, Stefan would have to decide on whether to take it easy on his brother or not. I always joke our games would go on all night and it would usually end for one of two reasons. One, my mom would come in and say we were disturbing the neighbors. Or two, you get mad because I was beating you and you say, you say I was cheating because I wouldn't give you a foul call. <laughs> I think there was one game this past season where he sent me a picture of me defending him. You know, I like, was reaching across his body. And <laughs> it's like still to this day, I don't want to call a foul on you when it's, when it's me. We've been seeing all the, the, the reports and people questioning who are we really cheering for to want to win? And we, we don't know. We, I mean, we cannot pull for one kid over the other. I mean, it's the first time brothers have, have played in the Western Conference Finals. First time, obviously, we've been through this. Yeah. So we're just going to take it, you know, game by game, see how it goes. Not to get emotional, but I mean, it's just hard to believe. It's hard to believe. I, I know it's a basketball game, but for us, we know that it's a platform. It's a platform for our family, and it's bigger than basketball. So we're just grateful to, to be in this situation. I'm living a dream watching these guys play, and, and we're, we're so blessed to be able to travel around and, and watch our kids play, whether it be in different arenas or at home arena. We're not taking this uh, for granted. We understand that we're very privileged and blessed to be able to do that, so we're going to enjoy it.